And we're back to another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator 2. I'm your host, the RPG guy. And when we last left off, we uh, finished some jobs. We uh, have some more computers set up to be put out. As you can see, I've set some of that up. And we'll be good to start accepting some more work, so let's get to it. How do you do? I run a shop here in town. Mr. Cranky's Fancy Dress Emporium. We're down on Cobblemeyer Street, just past the butcher's shop that closed after several customers mysteriously disappeared. If you reach the old abandoned toy shop, you've gone too far. Yes, I suppose this old neighborhood has something of a dark history, and I dare say it'll get darker still if... Well, let's just say I've seen things out there skulking in the shadows. There's some frightful creatures in this world, much worse than any costume, I assure you. That's why I'm contacting you. I'm getting a new CCTV system so I can capture hard evidence for the authorities, but my shop computer isn't quite up to the task. I'd rather not buy a new computer. I'd rather not buy new components if possible, but I assume there are tweaks that can be made. Anything that will increase the CPU and RAM performance. Much obliged. Cornelius Cranky, owner and proprietor, Mr. Cranky's Fancy Dressed Emporium. So just some overclocking and um, adjusting the, the latency. The CAS latency by minus two. S should be relatively simple. I hear you work with the computers. Are you available to upgrade my computer? Can you get my PC to a benchmark of blah, 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 blah? I really need you to install two GPUs on my system. I think I clicked on something bad and it's acting become erratic now. A scan would help. I think shape stickers would look cool on a PC. So he wants a scan and he wants stickers. And that should be fine. Decent processor from the look of it. Power supply is a little weak. He's going to need better video cards than that. So what's the... 3500. So we could even throw in a better power supply if the game will let us. But we'll see once the, the machine arrives what we can actually do. I've been upgraded for a while, so it's about time. I need 60 frames per second in Cursed Crypts and Darkening Shadows. Money shouldn't be a problem. I've got 1,100 to spare. I think shape stickers will look cool. Can you do that? So I want stickers, and I saw software. I could use a Bamboo HR on this PC. Can you handle that? Please, I look forward to hearing back from you, Gordon. So let's accept. Um, contrary to what we usually do, I'm going to let these PCs come in uh, before we start working on them. So let's uh, go ahead and, as per usual, make it a brand new day. As we will do that and such. Let us go ahead and collect. Oh, we can collect on three. That's very good. Very, very good. Um, we'll put three out there. And so this one will be, uh, I forgot what number we're on, but let's go with eight. There's a mark eight, right? Save. What have I done? There we go. Uh, grab a couple more. I'm more inclined to grab them from back here. Um, just because they're kind of in the way. Meaning we'll have one PC left that is out. Meaning we'll have to go grab some more. Um, no, we didn't put new cables in it, I guess. Uh, night life mark nine. And then we'll go with 2400. Yeah, that's fine. Anything that's better than 80% is going to be moderately good here. It's going to it's going to sell pretty quick. Um life Number 10 Yeah, there we go. You know that? I'm surprised that heap didn't sell. No, I'm not. All right. 
so area is pretty cleared of, of crap. Um, we'll go ahead and disassemble these guys, get them into storage. Just trying to make room for everything before we start working here. Trying to break down in my head best way to handle the jobs it's it's been you know I, to be honest with you it's been a while since we've done jobs and i realized the last two episodes were kind of chunky because we're kind of wonky and chunky because it's chunky as in like the way i was handling things because we took so much time away from you know doing jobs just doing those builds it's kind of it's kind of weird kind of getting trying to get back into it and missing little details. <laughs> Alright, put that in there. Let's go to the next one. At least there's no cable modding jobs at the moment. Which reminds me at some point we gotta check and see if we're up to date on all that. Alright. Got some interesting little cards here. Some that are absolute trash, but you know, it is what it is. Fancy there. Ooh. Getting some interesting parts. Okay. All right. So let's start working here. Let's bring this guy out because we'll be able to do that one right away. These two are going to be wonky in their own ways. Put those away from this one. This one's pretty much just a bio settings setup here. So for this guy, we need to adjust cast latency by minus two. So it would be oh, one, two. And then the CPU needs to be overclocked to what? 4824. And then we gotta test this to make sure it works. It's not just, I, I guarantee you if they've taken anything from previous games, you actually have to benchmark this stuff and make sure it actually works. Because if it doesn't work, then, you know, you did the, you know, and then the, in the, in the last game, if you would finish a job without doing these kinds of small tests to make sure the computer is stable, the game punished you for not running things like 3D Mark and stuff like that. This game seems to have removed some of that difficulty. I just want to see if there's any, if it, if it is going to do that or not. I have a strong feeling that they've removed that difficulty barrier. 
which I kind of miss. All right, so this one is done. Not much to it. Okay, so this guy once installed multiple graphics cards and has to benchmark 1500. Well, 3200 is very forgiving. Um, my concern is the power supply. We'll limit what we can plug in. So I want to see if they'll let us change this. They will. All right, so that's going to simplify this build. Um, let's go to power supplies, 1300. So we have 3,500 bucks, okay? That puts us down to 34. That's roughly 1,600 a card, 1,500 a card. We'll stay safe at 1,500 a card. So if we look at 1,500 a card, so this range is probably what we want to look at. We're also restricted by length because it's this goofy fuck case that they've chosen. Um, the other question is, is this a double card or not board? Um, Z490 dark. Okay, it accepts both. That's that's fine. How much? Oops. How much memory does it have? Let's see, is the next question here. He okay. He's got. He's fine on memory. It's okay. So now this case. It's like a Ryzen tech, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Um, okay, then it is the Chungus. There it is. Cooling Chungus. Okay. So the power supply is 220, GPU length 335. So that, okay, so our power supply meets that. Um, I think card wise will be okay. Three thirty-five GPU length. Okay, so graphics cards. Okay, so fourteen hundred or less. I don't want to go at fourteen hundred just to be safe. So that length is pretty long at three twenty-five. Um. Hmm. Three oh four twenty. This is SLI. It would fit. There's a 324, just last time, 324, 335, so it should fit. That 16 gig one. I gotta find it again. Uh, I think this guy here, this Iradeon, it's Crossfire, 324, yeah, so it fits. Boom, and boom. All right, let's take a look here. So that's 2450. Oh, wow. I could go a lot stronger. I'm still 1050 down, so whoops. It's 1600, right? Wait a minute. My math is just bad right now. <laughs> um, how much was that? It's 1100. So let's go a little bigger, or at least better. 1480. 324, more wattage. But it should work. Yeah, that, that's, and then we're 500 free, just in case. Okay, he'll be good. Okay, this one requires a little more insight. So 
So he wants to be able to play a very specific game. So we'll look at that. And he wants stickers and software. What's the name of the stupid game? First Crypts to Send Darkening Shadows. At the it just said recommended specs, right? It spend less than $1,100. Okay. So what does he need? Straight up, all he needs is a better feature card. Um... 860 watts. So it's just a video card. What's the recommended? 5700. So, Radeon RX 5700, AMD Radeon RX 5700, there it is, and he wants us to spend less than 1100 I feel like there's something missing though, but, twenty eighty Ti, could almost afford that. But it needs 11 gigs, so it has to be here. And that's going to put us probably over. So, no. I'll just go with that. This is recommended specs. It does not say anything beyond that. So, we want same day delivery. This dude did not require a scan, so we're not going to do that. He wanted some software, though. So, do, 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 the Radeon. Let's take a look at his requests. He wants bamboozled and shape stickers. So put bamboozled HR. Yeah, will it run can come off? And he said he wanted shape stickers. This guy need a little bit more stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and put these two bad boys in. They should fit. Plus our new power supply. We'll do a couple little fixes here. Specifically start with that. Scan to be done. So we need that. The slow ass hard drive. We need to remove the prawn, as they say. Should be good. Let's run that now. Oh, so much prawn. So much prawn! Let's remove the prawn. Oh, man. That's a lot of prawn. And the prawn is removed. We'll remove that. All right, let's blast this GPU tuner as best as we can here. 
We should have the power to to run it like that. You would think. Nope. Not quite. Yeah, we'll we'll turn it down a bit. But we should have pretty good performance. We should put a 1300 watt card in there. While that's going. And he wants shapes too. Alright. We'll let that run. Let's get out. Three more towers. That are done. Just because at this point, we should be good. As the painful loading process of opening this closet. Yeah, there needs to be a better optimization uh, for getting into the storage closet, if, especially if you've been sitting on a lot of stuff like I have. You know, I don't think the game was designed with this amount of insanity in mind, but at the same time. Let's just put it over here because we got to put stickers on that when it's done. You can feel the game's dislike for me trying to do it this way. That's a piece of crap. Let's get this out of the, out of here. Okay, clearly we made it. Um, and he wants shape stickers. Else is it gonna fucking go? All right, so we've got three plus the one out there would make four. It was a derpy one that we did. Okay, this is the derp one. So let's uh, make sure we can identify it as such, and then these can get the little night lights on them. See, just opening the frickin' closet is making the game run kind of chonky, as it we've noticed it do a couple times now. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and save, because saving's your friend, especially when shenanigans can occur at any time, right? Let's go ahead and collect. Yay. Yay. And yay. Punch, punch, yay. All right. Well, I finally got to the bottom of Randy's funk. Got the night vision camera all set up, and what do I see? Randy, the prize ram, standing at the edge of the field and staring at a farmhouse. Every night, it's like clockwork, he's there. As soon as I turn out the lights and go to bed, no wonder the daft ram lost his mojo. He's been not getting any sleep. I couldn't for the life of me think of why he was doing it, though. Not until my daughter came home from university. Now she's now he's back to normal, spunky self again, and just in time for tupping. 
He was just sad, I suppose. He missed her. I know the feeling. Anyway, I have not told my daughter about it yet. Don't think I will. Would you believe she brought her home her first girlfriend? That was a surprise. I could tell you. I can't ask her to stay here just for the sake of poor Randy. Not when she seems so happy. Maybe I could get her life, get her to pose for a life-size cardboard cutout. Evor Longbottom, sheer audacity sheep farm. Well, at least it got sorted out, right? So we got some new new parts here. Yay. Um, I believe we bought these already, but I'll double check just to make sure. Um, yes. All right, let's take a look. Upgrade. Well, thank you for upgrading the CP, but I'm afraid it has not fixed the problem. I have been using a professional reference guide, but having rechecked the relevant chapter, it seems I fell victim to a typo. Increasing video playback generally requires an upgrade to the GPU, not the CPU. A fairly recent GPU like the Radeon RX Vega 56 should correct the issue. I'm sure you'll agree. Apologies again for the confusion, which should not reflect poorly on my skills as an IT officer. Clearly, I was wrong to think I could trust a professional reference guide. Rest assured, I'll be reporting the typo to the book's publisher, lest it catch out anyone with less of an eye for detail than me. Bort Rathbone, Executive Animal Wrangler and IT of Officer Newton Zoo. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we gotta order us a Radeon RX Vega 56, or better. Um... There it is, the Vega. So, RX Vega 56, yeah. Okay, that's simple enough. What do we got here? Upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM. I haven't upgraded for a while, so it's about time. Can you put in 32 gigs of memory? So as quick as it used to be, get a lot of strange pop-ups. Can you sort that? Okay, so scan. I see software put cell out. Okay. What do we got for memory? How many slots is this? B55E Gaming. It looks like it's four slots. So memory, no, just go back to PC stats. So he just needs two more of these. Boom, 240, budget 600, 600. So yeah, we should be fine. Uh, all right. Can you help me out with something? Wait, 32, yes. Eight, yeah. My PC is super sluggish. I'm a bit of system performance. Does 10681 sound reasonable for a benchmark score? I'm hoping you can install three GPUs for me. I've got three grand to pay for the work. I like nice new shiny components. That checker theme looks pretty cool. I'd love if you could apply that. So, that's a skin. Okay. So, install multiple graphics cards. He wants three. We have a range of 3,000. Um, he's got a 1070 in there. You can technically install f three of them. If if his motherboard will allow. We're not going to buy his stuff right now. And my, my rationale for that, I think, is rather straightforward. Um, we want to ensure that we know what's in the computer well i guess we can just look it up then i guess what's the power supply 1200 so that okay so he's good there motherboard accepts three slots so the question becomes does the current video card support that and a 1070 founders which is what he has I, it could i i believe it could do it we have three thousand dollars to play with we may as well replace everything like we could put in three of these and 80 ti's which would also do it let me double check what he's got does he have a founder he does have a founders but not a ti and his benchmark requirement is 
I would say we bite the bullet and just buy three of these. And that puts us under the amount we can spend. We could even throw in a better power supply, though he's already doing really good with that. Um, let's see. That's 450. We don't even know if that would fit. I think 1300 would be better, but... There's a 1500 TI. Boom, what does that put us at? Yeah. So that, that gives us even more power. Um, so let's go with that. We should be okay. Let's make it a brand new day. I still have a feeling that last job's gonna just annoy me. Because of room and space and everything and the, the cards and all of that. Alright. All four are out of here as we reach ninety thousand shekels. 90,000 smackerinos, 90,000 dollar needles. So, always awesome to hit the 92,000 dollar mark as we still are going, right? All right. Grab the others. That's not a bad sale right there. We're going to hit 100 grand very, very quickly here with the rigs that we got, excluding this guy. This guy's trash. Third Burglar 2000. Ooh. I'm the proud owner of the Turd Burglar 2000. It burgles turds like no one else would have ever thought. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine add up the extra numbers, possibly ten. So about ten grand right there. So yeah, we should hit hundred grand pretty quick. Though we're gonna spend a little bit uh, bringing in these new ones. So yay. Um, so we're, we may not hit it right away, but we'll hit it soon. Let's do these first. Um, Real quick. Straight up just a Vigia card upgrade. And that's all she wrote. It's his birthday. Alright. Let's get this guy out of here. Let's grab both of these, and we're going to work on the trickier one first, because I think I'm going to have the most problems with that one. Ooh, I see liquid cooling, or just really big cables. Really big cables. Oh, but, yeah, some liquid cooling. Okay, this dude wants three GPUs. Yay. 
and me being weird, I want to put in a new power supply. Just to ensure we can max out everything in the power supply. Because it would defeat the purpose. Let's see, it doesn't show the power supply, so... 1500 watts. It's sexy time. And then Vigi cards. 80. Followed by a 1080 Ti. Followed by a 1080 Ti. Alright, the power supply is pretty much done. I'm not willing to put in more money into that than we've already done, so. We'll leave the rest open. Um, so a few things to check. This being the first. It does not have good RAM. Could, we could change out memory later, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Alright, this dude wants that. Spend less than 3,000, that's fine. He just wants the checker theme. So, what do we got in here? One pair of 16 gig memory. Okay, well, we'll find out. We have some room to play with memory if we need to. I don't foresee that we will need to, but we will definitely try. And see what we can do with what we have. Because these three video cards should take us to at least, I would say, at least 9,000 alone. With, like, worst case scenario. And it's running. Right, we'll let it run its course before we go continue. 32 gigs of RAM. Memories. And what else did they want? Scan and software. Oh, I'm I'm a stickler. You give somebody better, more memory, they should definitely be allowed to see that performance at its best. Alright. Scan and sell out. Finishing up clean files. Nice. Remove. It was just sell out, right? So this guy is done. No skins or anything necessary. So that's 13,000. That meets the requirement. The only thing we gotta do is put the checker theme on. I had a feeling we would be okay. Checker theme. 
we'll do the usual deal here. But foist, let's bring these in. Though I probably shouldn't. Because we don't know if we're going to get into a bad deal. But I do want this sorted out before we start reloading. So we can just dis dismantle these now. Right? But with those were relatively, as long as there's no like secret objective I kind of screwed up on, those were relatively easy jobs, which those are the kind of jobs we want. Starting to get some slightly nicer parts on average versus some of the stuff we were getting, you know, last couple times we've gutted for parts. I think we're getting lesser video cards, but better uh, average hardware. And I think, you know what would be interesting is as we get closer to ending the game, I would say we should make an effort to get rid of all the spare parts we have in build. Not sell any. Okay, I haven't, don't recollect ever selling any parts. Because to me, it would make sense to find a use for every part and every tower that we've actually got. Meaning we might use some of those, you know, I like, one of the things I like to do by end game is make like an ultimate PC build. Uh, money be damned, you know, probably spend 30 grand maybe max. Do whatever we can to max it out. Liquid cooled, whatever. Unless liquid cooling would get in the way of getting better video cards or something. But try, in a sense, to get as best hardware, you know, as humanly possible. Maybe do a couple builds like that. Replace our work desktop, so to speak. All right, so that's all been squared away. Let's go ahead and head back over here. Save our game, because saving is your friend. When, especially when turning stuff in. Let's start. There, that one is pretty standard. This one should be good as well. And a noise. So we did that. We should have done that. Email. Uh, yeah. That's good. I think this has a history of everything we've sold. Yeah, this has a history of everything we've sold. And you just see the numbers on average getting higher and higher once you start getting up in this area. So the average computer that we sell, our profits are getting better just 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 by default even some of the crappy ones that we have are getting better just because of the way we can design them and set them up um so we got a build here that's 3250 um we've got upgrades and water cooling that needs to be done um oh yeah so we got some interesting uh, builds coming up for sure uh, so on the next episode, when we come back, we I will pull out more PCs that need to be put out to be sold. Because when we make it a brand new day tomorrow in-game, we're hoping all four of these will be gone so we can put four new ones up. 
And I'm going to probably take out eight computers, leaving one, two, three, you know, four plus four in the back area just to try to optimize the timing and space and all of that. So that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv, so fix our studios from a live gaming hour show. Because when we come back, we've got a, a, a big build to do, and we've got, a little, from the look of it, we also have a big upgrade to do. Um, on top of like another story quest and we, we might hit level 27 next episode um, or just be slightly shy of it. So with that said, thanks for stopping by guys. We'll see you guys next time.